Hi, I'm Abdul, developer advocate at Octeto. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to deploy Docker Compose application directly to Octeto. And before we start, I would like to give a brief, um, you know, introduction to Octeto. So Octeto is a Kubernetes development platform, and what we do is we enable you deploy and develop your application directly in Kubernetes. That is, you are deploying and you are developing your application directly in cloud in the cloud. It is much more better. It saves costs, and you are basically running your application in a what you see is what you get environment. What this means is whatever changes you make in your application development cycle locally, or you know when you deploy applications of Tello. The changes you see is exactly what you see when you deploy to external um, Kubernetes clusters like um, Azure, Microsoft, or Google. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a Docker Compose application, how to deploy one. Yeah. Okay, so I have this Docker Compose sample prepared that I'm going to use for this video here. It this is Docker Compose manifest, and in this manifest we have um, two services we have the web service and we have the mongodb service we also have the volume data where our mongodb um, database is going to persist so the first service is the web service which is the application here we have instructed it to build an image with the docker file located in the directory i'm going to look um, at the docker file after explaining the services here you're also using an environment file here like we all know it is not a security practice to push your environment variables to github or we like software like bitbucket or gitlab so we are going to inject the variables at deploy time also we have the mongodb service here which is built with the mongodb image from bitnami we have exposed this port here and we are going to the volume for the mongodb is that bitnami mongodb we're going to store it in the volume data that's why we have a data volume that's why we have it this here right so let's look at the docker file here so in the Docker file, we are running a Python application here. We're going to use some Python 3.8. We have set the work directory to the app folder. We are adding the requirements files to work directory and basically installing the application. Then we expose the ports for the application. And we have the environments file. So we have an idea of what we are going to put or we're going to inject at runtime. So we have the mobile details and secrets. This is a random one just for sample purposes. And this is the mobile DB details here. With everything in place, we are going to deploy the application here. But before that, um, we need to log in. Talk to them. So even if this is your first time, you click on login and we use GitHub here and it deploys. And you have a namespace. Ideally, you are given five namespaces here. You can create namespaces, you could deploy, make a share. And so we want to deploy Docker Compose application. So I'm going to click since we don't have any application here. We're going to use this button here. I'm going to deploy. From the git url here and in this deploy section here you are to put in the repository url you have to choose a branch and the variables here stand for the environment variables which we saw earlier that we're going to inject here so the first step is to copy this and put it here we are deploying the main branch we'll leave that unchanged and now when we looked at the environment variable file we had two environment variables we have the mongo details and the secrets this in caps. So what we are going to do is okay, let's type it instead. So we have Mongo details as MongoDB. We have MongoDB. And we're going to add it. So the next one is the secret variable. And we just write Mongo down here. Let me add. And we could just cross check that we have everything in place. We have the repository URL, we have the branch, we have variables. So we deploy. And when we deploy, the first thing Octavio does is to clone your GitHub repository. And it close it into an Octavio and source that folder here. It's your working directory. So handles that. You don't have to worry about where your files are stored. It's stored securely. And when your application is, is cloned into the folder, Octavio looks for a manifest file. And in this case, we're using Docker Compose manifest file. However, if there is no Docker Compose manifest file, it looks for another file, either the pipeline file or the Octavio stacks file. And when Octavio finds your manifest file, it builds your image first, depending on the instruction you have in your 
Docker Compose manifest. In our Docker Compose manifest, we have two services to be viewed. And the first service is the web service. And web service has to build an image first. So this is the process here. It builds this image for service web. And when the image is built, it is published into a secure um, private re registry. We have a registry at Octeto here where your images are pushed to. So you could use it recurrently. Concurrently, you could like cache it and use it at will. And after the services are built, they are deployed to your Kubernetes cluster via Octeto here. So you can see we have the web service has been pushed, the volume has been created, and the MongoDB service has been created. So here we wait for the MongoDB to initialize and progress. The web service has been deployed. And when you push an application to Octeto, Octeto automatically generates. Octeto automatically generates an endpoint for you to view your application here. So when I click on this, my application works, right? So we have the MongoDB, you can check the logs to check the status. Has it connected? Was there an error? There wasn't any error. You have your volume here in use. It is in use by the MongoDB. So if you destroy this, you don't have a persistent volume anymore. Now let's test that the application works perfectly. So we're going to use this fast API. So we're going to use docs here. And we have a couple of routes. So the first step, I'm going to create an admin here. I'm going to say, um, this is me. And I can say at um, test.com. I'm going to say um, password instead. I'm going to say, okay. We have, um, let's see, we have password. And we're going to create this here. So we have created this. When you go back to MongoDB to check, you can see that we have an addition of data here. Okay, so let's test that this works perfectly. When I try to when I log in, so the username earlier was Abdul, was this at test.com. And we had um, password as a password. Of course, you should use um, secure passwords. Okay. Okay, this works incorrect email or password so we need to cross check if we used the right values okay so you are do as these the test has come okay there's a full stop here good so we have this this is to show that application works perfectly so you execute here and now you have your access token so you could use this and experiment the application here so this is a very simple way to deploy docker compose applications so i'm going to go over this one more time to give us a recap so the first step was to get the URL, was to log in Octeto. You, know, you log in your Octeto namespace and click on the deploy button by using Git and use that. And now you choose the application. Now this is a Docker Compose application here. And it has two services, a web service and a MongoDB service, right? And you check, does it require an environment file? From the Docker Compose manifest, you would find this. We have the env file that is, it requires an environment variable to be configured for the application to work properly. So you check the sample file and so you could know what is to be created. Now, what I didn't explain earlier is when you add your environment variables, at the point of deployment, Octeto automatically creates an environment variable for you that's injected to your container. So you don't have to worry about, you know, adding this, like passing the secrets a couple of times again when you want to do that. You could verify this by clicking on the deploy. I see your variables are stored here. So you can either remove them or add another variable, depending on the case. And so you could restart your application here. You could redeploy, you could destroy this to clear everything out. So with the application in place, you could also test it out. And these endpoints are generated for you for publicly exposed ports. Endpoints are created for such services. And that brings us to the end of this video. Um, sum it up. It is very easy to develop in the cloud using Octeto. The main aim at Octeto is to accelerate your development workflow for your applications. And um, thank you very much. Please um, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and stay tuned for more content. We would also be having a community call on 24th of this month. Please endeavor to register and attend. On the community call, we will be demonstrating a new feature at Octeto called Divert. And um, I would like to keep you in suspense. So if you would like to learn or know about the features we want to demo or talk about, please do attend the comments call. Thank you very much. All right. Bye.